Okay, so what we're going to do, because um, meat has to rest, and what, when we talk about meat resting, what we want is it all the basically the um, muscles in the meat to just relax. And by relaxing it, it makes the meat tender, it's more juicy and moist. So we're going to cook our meat off first and then prepare our herb crust while it rests, okay? That's not enough parsley to be useless in the kitchen, young lady. So in the pan, we've got a little bit of olive oil and we're going to add some beautiful diced butter, okay? And then we're going to roast off our lamb, okay? So. I've just put rosemary, a touch of garlic and nice. some thyme and that's going to add some lovely flavourings to them. And we're going to get this beautiful foaming butter. Okay, how are we going? I'll give you a little hand there, okay? Otherwise we could be here all afternoon waiting for you to, honestly. You'll be fine. But this, it's like a lot, of, this is the preparation, but what you can do is like a lot of cooking, you can get this prepared ahead. So you can have it ready in your, in your sort of larder or you can have it in the freezer. And this herb crust is also lovely with fish as well. So you can see the butter, you see that's nice and foaming. We're going to let it go into a, a burnt stage. Just as it starts to go lovely brown, we're going to put in our meat, okay? And we're going to caramelise it all up, okay? Right, how are we doing with our parsley? Yep, that's perfect, okay? Last little bit in there. Beautiful. So that's going to go in here. Have you used one of these machines before? No. First time for everything. Right, lift that into there. Okay, in you go. Straight in, okay. And we're going to put a piece of this garlic as well. Broken in, that's it. And then you put the lid on. And there it goes. And it's just going to blend all those up. And you pass right. me the breadcrumbs there, please, my dear. <laughs> yeah, I'll put some rock salt. And you can see where it's starting to go brown. That's right. what you're looking for. So it's now starting to go burnt, was it? Okay. And now we're going to add a few breadcrumbs. Right. Just like so. Back on there. Okay, and then you're going to get this lovely herb crust. Okay, you got any questions? You following it? Don't run away. Come back here. <laughs> okay, next job. You pass those tomatoes for me. Okay. Get all that herbs in there. Right. You can see now it's starting to roast off in colour. All right. Okay, and we, what we want to do is get the fat rendered down, okay? Yeah. So that's our lovely herb crust ready to go. Then on here, we're going to do these beautiful roasted tomatoes. Okay, and we're going to leave them like that, because one, they look very pretty. Two, yeah. they're going to hold their shape there. And right. I want you to put a touch of salt on that. That's the salt and the sugar. Let me show you, is that sugar? Sugar, rather. Touch of sugar on there. Sprinkle it on the oh, tomatoes. Oh, you do want the yeah. on there. How much or just a... Let's go. Sprinkle a bit, let's see. Yeah, a bit more. A bit more on those ones. Okay, a little bit of salt. And what the sugar's going to do, it's going to work with the oil and the balsamic and caramelise and cook right, these beautiful fine. tomatoes. And then about the same amount of salt yes, would it be? Yes, a bit more on there, yeah, perfect. Okay, now a touch of olive oil. And then, have you tried balsamic vinegar before now? Uh, only what we you tried try, earlier. Yeah. Try. If you mix it with the olive oil, it's going to have a lot <laughs> A lovely flavour to it. So right. they're going to go straight in the oven like so and we just let them cook for about five minutes. Five minutes.